हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिक जंक्शन ए वीडियो सीरीज फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल ड्राइव ए नियमित इक्वेशन फॉर द ट्रांसफार्मर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रेंड्स वी एज्यूम सम वैल्यूज फॉर द ट्रांसफार्मर ओके सो This is the core iron core laminated iron core of our transformer, and this is primary, and it has another and another winding which is secondary. This is primary, and this is secondary. Okay, primary energy is connected to a supply source. Okay, so friends, we assume that the number of turns in the primary winding is n one. Okay, so n one is number of turns. Number of turns in primary and we also assume that the number of turns in the secondary winding as is n2 okay so n2 number of turns in secondary and friends this primary winding is connected to a supply source which is which is of ac type okay this is connected to ac supply source so we assume that the supply source has a frequency of f hertz Okay, F is the frequency frequency of supply in hertz. Okay, this is our assumptions. Okay, now friends, uh, we know that. Uh, the primary is connected to ac supply source therefore the primary will generate a flux which is also it, uh, of the nature of alternating okay which is also of alternating type okay we can draw the wave shape for the flux okay which flows through the iron core okay so the wave shape will be we assume that the wave shape is purely sinusoidal we can we consider an ideal case okay so we draw a sinusoidal wave shape for the flux okay and uh, friends uh, the time period we we also assume that the time period of the wave is t seconds okay the x axis is, is represents time in t second uh, time in seconds okay and our the time period is this flux wave has time period of t okay and uh, here the flux takes its maximum positive value which is 5m 5 subscript m okay so friends uh, we can uh, we can drive we will first drive an equation for the rate of change of average rate of change of the flux okay where we will need first of all the maximum flux 
okay so the maximum value of the flux we already know its maximum value is 5 m okay now we want to drive the equation of average average rate of change of flux okay so we we got the maximum value of flux is pi m okay now the time it takes to get the flux from its zero value to final value is t by 4 okay t divided by 4 seconds okay so now we will the average average value of rate of change of flux will be the average value of rate of change of flux will be maximum value of flux which is 5m and that 5m will be divided by t by 4 seconds ok because t by 4 is the time which it takes for 5m to become maximum ok now there is one important relation between time period and frequency and which is time period is equal to 1 by f now friends we will replace this t by 1 by f ok we can also write this t as 1 by f ok so friends now let us replace this t by this 1 by f so that it will become as this ok now friends we can write this equation in another form as when we will solve all this equation then this will become 4 f 5 m ok 5 subscript m ok you can solve this equation and you will ultimately get that this you will ultimately get this ok so friends this is the average value of rate of change of flux ok and we know that by Faraday's law the EMF induced per turn ok the EMF induced per turn uh, in a coil is equal to average rate of change of flux ok and we get we drive an equation for that uh, rate of change of flux ok so the EMF induced per turn will be also equal to EMF per turn will be equal to this 4 pi 4 f 5 m okay. and friends we can also write this 5 m in the form of flux density ok so flux density the total flux in iron core is equal to the flux density multiplied by area of the laminated core ok so friends this is the EMF per turn induced in the coils ok so this is the average value and we generally consider RMS values for the calculations
okay so friends we can also convert this average value into rms value okay uh, and friends you must know that the form factor the form factor is given as rms value rms value of a, 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 a of alternative quantity divided by average value okay and it is always equal to the form factor is always equal to 1 by 1 1 okay so friends what we will do is that we will simply multiply the average value by 1 by 1 then we will get rms value okay so now let us make some space Okay, I will clear this picture. Okay, this I will also now clear this. Okay. Now, friends, uh, the RMS value of EMF per turn. RMS EMF per turn. Okay, it will equal to. Average value, average value into one point one one. Okay, and the one point one one is the one point one one is form factor. Okay, so our average value is four f beta sorry b, which is flux density. Into a, and this is average value, and it is multiplied by one point one one, which is form factor, and our RMS value of EMF per turn will become as four point four four F B A. Okay, this will be our EMF per turn. Now, friends, from this EMF pattern is will equal for both primary and secondary. Okay, in an ideal condition, okay, in in the ideal condition, the EMF pattern of primary and secondary is equal. Okay, and uh, here we uh, we are considering concerning. Only one ideal condition. We consider only the ideal condition. Okay. So friends, now if I want to if I want to calculate the number of turns in the if I want to calculate the EMF generated into the primary, then I simply have to multiply the number of turns with this RMS EMF per turn. Okay. So The EMF induced in primary will be equal to EMF in primary will be equal to four point four four five sorry F B A into N one where N one is the number of runs in the primary and friends. Now, if I want to calculate the EMF generated into the secondary, then I simply have to multiply the RMS value of per turn EMF with the number of turns in the secondary, which is N two. Okay. So, friends, let's get the value of EMF generated into the secondary. EMF in secondary. Okay, and this will simply equal to four point four F V A into N two. Okay, so friends, these two are the EMF equations for primary and secondary of a transformer. So friends, if you have any queries. related to the emf equation 
of a transformer then you can write your query in the comment section and uh, friends uh, I hope you uh, must have understood the concept and uh, the derivation of EMF equation of transformer uh, friends thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe